Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Rob and Tasha from Lackeys Be Trippin', and today we are going to talk about Instagram versus reality. We're going to talk about how everyone thinks it's all fun and games, life on the road, and it is. We have some good times, but it's a very small percentage of what our actual day looks like. That's right. Let's go. All right, so here on our YouTube channel, we try to keep it real. We show you the highs, the lows, the pros, the cons. That's our plan anyway. And to show you how we are doing week to week, assuming that we have the Wi-Fi to upload the video that week, which is a topic that we'll get into on this video. But Instagram and Facebook, uh, you know, they look a little bit sunnier, I guess you would say. Yeah, I mean, I think we choose pictures to post on each of them. And, um, you know, Instagram is all about visual art so you want to choose the best looking pictures um and facebook's pretty much the same so youtube's really where we're going to show you guys the real life stuff tosh what do you do like from the time you wake up until after dinner i go <laughs> she goes go 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 like annoyingly <laughs> oh it's kind of annoying um it's funny we joke about it but we legitimately have people ask us, like, what do you do all day? And we're like, we're working, trying to, like, run a business, start a business, and um, trying to learn how to make money on our own now that we don't have employers and a paycheck coming in every week. Like, yeah. it's, it's amazing how many people think we don't actually work. Yes, it is. It's amazing how hard we work compared to not that we didn't work hard before we had our you know nine to five jobs but we work really hard and as anybody who has a business or who's done something entrepreneurial before knows you can't just shut it off it's on all the time so, so maybe we should tell people like what we actually do just a quick glimpse for sure um so most of you probably already know but we own a business called bison track it's yeah um, yeah Custom, custom motorcycle gear um, and that's part of the reason we did this whole travel thing was so we could travel racetrack to racetrack every week and I mean every week we're traveling yeah. and trying to build that business so that is I would say a majority of what we do um, on top of that we've also had our house as an Airbnb for the past year and a half and then Lackey's Be Trippin is its own thing you know we started trying to come up with custom apparel and designs um as well as videos and blogs and um how do we set up amazon affiliate accounts and all the all the ways to make money on the internet these days um what else do we do well just so let's back up to that i would say lackeys be tripping um here we are trying to throttle this up and do more videos you know do a video every week and do a blog and she's working on the website and the affiliate marketing stuff well last year we kind of thought that this would not be easier, but not be as time consuming as it is, mm -hmm. uh, you know, doing these different business things and Lackey's Be Trip would be a fun thing that would just take a few minutes. And actually it takes quite a bit of time. Plus life, I mean, doing right. laundry and doing dishes that stack up because, you know, there's no dishwasher in here. So um, all those things add up on top of a travel schedule that yeah. can be a full day of travel. Right. Oh, or multiple, or multiple full days. days. You know, that's what's crazy. So to give you an idea like this week for Bison, like I said, we're going to Daytona. So today's Monday, Tuesday. So tomorrow we're, we're leaving the RV park. We're going to drive halfway to Daytona and stop at a Cracker Barrel is the plan. And that was we'll, Walmart. No, nah, for the third time, it's Cracker Barrel. Oh, I put the wrong thing on our oh, list. Geez. So we're going to stop at this Cracker Barrel and we're just going to kind of set up since we're in a parking lot you know, we'll do some work and then go the rest of the way to Daytona. We'll stay in another parking lot Wednesday night and then move into the racetrack infield on Thursday. So Thursday to Monday we'll be there. And that's really when we, we work hard at the racetrack. We are go, go, go meeting people, yeah. measuring people, 
we're going to have a bunch of stuff to, to get to writers at Daytona. So, Not to mention, I have a work meeting on Wednesday before we get to Daytona to meet. That's a whole other business that we didn't even talk about. Yeah, we've got some side ventures going on. <laughs> when we set up at the racetrack, it's it's going to take a couple hours to get set up. And then Monday morning, take a couple hours to tear it down. But I feel like I overestimate how, how long something's going to take. Like I am try to be so ahead of things that I'm too far ahead of things. And then I feel like he underestimates how long something's going to take. So he's like, oh, that video's got to go up Wednesday. Okay, I'll do it Tuesday afternoon. I'm like... You would think that with her overestimating things and me underestimating time, we would balance out, but we don't. No. Um, it's just kind of chaos. <laughs> so we have this thing called avoidance that our counselor always talks to us about. Like, Oh, let's talk about counseling. That's okay. People should go to counseling. Yeah, you should, especially. We, we don't now, but like we probably should. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we used to, you know, back in the day, probably around the seven year mark. Now, um, anyway, so this thing called avoidance. So like, I don't want to say anything to upset him and he doesn't want to say anything to upset me. And so we just avoid talking about it. And then, Until we're both upset. And then we're like, mm. <laughs> yeah. right. so. no, actually we, we do really well That's together, but uh, we, we, we roll with the punches and we just truck, but this year with the content and the different moving pieces that we've got with the business is trying to grow the business. And by the way, Bison has been busier than ever this say, past few months. Not just trying like, to go. Like, yes. we've more than doubled in size, I would say, from this time last year. So, yeah. part of the issue that we have while traveling is we'll get to a really awesome spot, spot like St. Augustine, which was gorgeous and beautiful. So and there's a ton of, we've been there twice now, and there's a ton of stuff to do there, and we haven't really done much. Yeah. So, we get there and get all excited, but then we have to work all day. So yeah. we end up not even getting to do anything fun. I know. But we did some fun stuff, but it definitely, for the amount of time we were there, it was kind of a bummer. In fact, we I was like borderline depressed because the first few days we were there, it was absolutely gorgeous. We'd been in this freezing weather crap. So we got to St. Augustine and it was beautiful. The RV park we were staying at, Compass RV Resort, was really amazing. And we were right up front. We had the pool and palm trees and everything right in front of us. We could see it right out the windshield, but we had so much work to do and catch up on that uh, we ended up just staying in the RV most of the time. Yeah. And it was, that's depressing. You know, mm -hmm. I would go outside and sit and work and that was nice, but it's not the same. When you have a pool right there and palm trees and a beach just miles away and all this stuff to do, but you can't do it because you have so much work, that's kind of tormenting. It's like yeah. being in an office building with a beautiful sunny day outside, um, maybe, but like worse. Yeah, not much different. <laughs> Yeah. But it's been the same way here. You know, we've got we've gotten here, and thankfully we've got to do a few things. We played pickleball with the kids. We played shuffleboard. Went to the pool a few times, but um, that's usually like an hour right before the sun goes down or, you know, a random hour during the day, and then we come back and work. So it's yeah. just kind of a tease, really, <laughs> right? that there's these awesome places. And it's actually been good, though, because we have... Even though there's been awesome views and awesome things to do, we haven't had a lot of people around. That's when it gets really tough. Work-life balance is still a yeah. challenge. Oh, work-life balance is, <clears throat> that's a key. And that's something that I really harp on her because if I don't pull her away, she will literally get, wake up, grab her phone and start working, come down from the loft, sit there, and she will sit there until it's time to go to bed. She won't stop. Last week we did something kind of cool. In the middle of the day, we just said, you know what? Uh, we need to have like a phys ed hour in the middle of the day. We're all gonna get to a stopping point around one or two or whatever, and then we are going to go to the pool, or we're gonna go play shuffleboard, we're gonna go rollerblading, like something. So we forced ourselves to do that. And some days, Tasha was the one pushing me to stop. Some days, I was the one dragging Tosh away from the computer, but it worked out pretty good. Yeah. We didn't do that yesterday, though. No. Oh, wait. What day is it? But we did laundry. Yesterday is Sunday. Sunday. We didn't yeah. do that today. We didn't do it today either. Yeah. And tomorrow's a travel day, so we won't be doing it then. And then we'll be at Daytona, so. So you see how things snowball? Yeah. In the check-in process, yeah, getting to the racetrack gates, going through check-in, then getting to our spot, getting set up, saying hi to everybody. That's yeah. kind of going to be a full day situation yeah so these are the things that make it really hard to do a routine 
and it's tough. <laughs> it's yeah. kind of tough, but we, we're finding our way through it. Yeah. And we're making it work, so. We'll figure it out. For sure. But that's what sets us apart from other channels, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone does their own thing, right? So you have some full timers that have retired and this is what they do full time and they just hang out. Um, you have full timers that they have full time jobs and they just work remotely. Um, and then you have people that are hustling and trying to make, um, you know, make, make a, a bit, make a living <laughs> on one or two or three, four businesses, whatever it is. So, um, that's what you get with us is like, how do, how do you run a business? How do you homeschool? How do you travel, travel so much? Intensive. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people don't travel like we do. Yeah. We are, what you get with us is a lot of road time and different dis destinations like yeah. week to week. And that's why it was important for me to get into this routine of doing a vlog every week with Lackey's Be Trippin' because we're literally going to be in a different place every week yeah. um, most of the time. So You guys missed so much stuff last year. Because I know. And There's we have so much, video of it all, yeah, so like, we're going to have to figure out ways to add. Oh, I'll, yeah, I'll sprinkle it through this year, but it was so much when I went back to recap that it was just like, gosh, I don't even know where to start. Like, yeah. so much content, and there's so many things to, to recap. I have to do weekly videos to keep you up. So that's why we're in a Class A coach and not a fifth wheel or a toter home or something that we have to set up all the time because with this, I can hit a button, put the jacks down, and we can put the slides up and we're stationary yeah. and then hit buttons and we're on the road again. And while I'm driving, Tasha and the kids can move about. They can go to the bathroom. They can make sandwiches. Work. They can take a nap. They can work. Do school. Right? Yeah. So this coach really allows us to do that. And I mean, what did we do last year? Like 16,000 miles? Yeah. Or 15, There's something like that. It was a lot. Something like that. And we have yeah. almost, I think, almost 18,000 scheduled this year yeah so. 18,000 this year so it's it's a lot of uh, travel and that's I think that's the thing that I underestimated the most last year was the travel stuff and how much time that would take yeah and how like a day is gone because you traveled you know yeah you get up one. you move out depending on the RV park or wherever you're staying you're either gone by 10 or you're gone by noon but regardless you're gone before the first in the first half of the day and then you're traveling all day and then by the time you get stopped, then you make dinner and then you end up doing like a couple hours of work, of work and you're exhausted. Yeah. Travel days are, yeah, they're exhausting. And um, sometimes when we're traveling, just finding a place to stop and sleep. <laughs> I mean, we were driving until what, like 2 a.m.? Yeah, we didn't on the way to, to Florida. drive that long. But... We just couldn't find anywhere to pull over and sleep for the night. The truck stops were full. The, the rest areas were full everything and i mean it's things like that that you just sometimes don't take into account we'll stop and we stop and all of a sudden all the spots are full and where do you park yeah so we probably should stop earlier but yeah, sometimes you just gotta go yeah sometimes you just truck on but anyway so the travel challenges are definitely i think what make us a little bit unique compared to other full-time youtubers nothing against them everybody does it differently but we just do a lot of traveling so yeah. that's what you'll get with us and that's why we're doing weekly vlogs yeah we rarely stay in one place more than a week this is like the longest we've been anywhere yeah it's been nice but that being said i'm ready to move oh yeah i'm ready i'm like <laughs> this is an awesome awesome park i actually uh blueberry hill rv resort in bushnell florida that's where we're at now and i really this is one of my favorite parks that we've been to i got a ton of activities yeah. everybody's really friendly it's really pretty and everything that we need is just right across the road. Like I can walk to Walmart, walk to the gas station, yeah. KFC, whatever. Uh, there's a hardware store and a tractor supply down the road. So everything we need is right here. And it's really nice. So I'd like to come back here like during the winter or something if we could. But I've only been to the RV park once. <laughs> yeah. We went to St. Petersburg for a day last Sunday. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. That was really cool. We went rollerblading down the pier and it was super cool. But, um... That's the only time I've left the RV park since we've been here. Yeah. I didn't even go to Walmart. I haven't gone anywhere. That's right. <laughs> I'll go for I have been running around a lot. Yeah. Good job, Kate. Well, what can I say? <laughs>
We're not editing that out. I'm going to show everybody how mean you are to me. I'm not mean. He's just... I'm going to show everybody how adorable you treat me. How adorably. And... I love it. I love you. I do too. <gasps> and he cleaned all day yesterday. You cleaned. Oh yeah, I cleaned yesterday. That was why we didn't do activities. Because we did laundry and I cleaned front to back. Cleaned the room. I really needed it. Inside. Yeah. This time. So outside still looking pretty good from the last wash. So that's good. So that's a big job. But anyway, so that's where we're at, guys. We're at Bushnell, and we're headed to Daytona tomorrow. Um, hopefully, the McDonald's Wi-Fi works so I can upload this tonight. Uh, be sure to subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and for even closer looks at our day-to-day -day life, go to our Facebook and Instagram pages, at Lackeys Be Trippin', mm -hmm. so uh, you can see what our day-to-day -day is, what's going on in our day-to-day. -day. Yeah, where yeah. we're at. We will see you a week from now either at Daytona or after Daytona. We'll give you an update. Yeah. Right. We'll try to post at least some video from Daytona. Oh, for sure. Because it's beautiful. It's going to be awesome. All right, everybody. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.